So very, very, very happy morning to all. So we are doing the chapter bets, base erosion and profit shifting. Very important chapter for our examination, which may come for six mark in exam. We have understood that bets is having 15 action plans. All the 15 action plan is standing in three pillars. Moon kambi ki mela in the 15 action plan ena pani kanga na picture kanga. One coherence. Number two is substance and number three is transparency. So these are the three pillars they may ask in exam. What are the three pillars on which BEPS is standing? Number one, coherence. Coherence means logic. Number two, substance. Number three, transparency. Coherence meet pandratakagada. Action plan number two, neutralize the effect of hybrid mismatch arrangements. So it should be logical. One person is claiming here deduction, other person is not showing it as an income means. It is illogical, correct? Yes, so we have to bring a coherence between the domestic law and the international law to avoid the hybrid mismatch arrangement, neutralize the effect of hybrid mismatch arrangement. OECD has recommended four recommendations, my dear lovable students. Then action plan number three, strengthen CFC rules. Control foreign, foreign company foreign. rules. That means that is a just a shell company, that is just a conduit company where you are controlling from India. So you have to what in an take care of those such company. That's what action plan number three. Number four, limit interest deductibility, thin capitalization. Correct. That means in the capital structure, they are injecting more and more and more debt into the capital structure. By that way, they are claiming interests and expenses and they are simply exporting the profit. So, base, base is eroding and profit is shifting. So, action plan number, sir, four. So, in order to reach, sir, coherence between the domestic law and international law, we have added action plan number two, three, four. Now, the substance. Substance in the sense means don't see the transaction, look at the substance. So, substance over form, correct? Action plan number five, we are having two components in action plan number five. Component number one is preferential energy, tax energy, 115 BBF. We brought 10 percentage. Sir, action plan number six, prevent N abuse, treaty abuse, don't allow for treaty shopping. Prevent artificial avoidance of P status. Prevent artificial avoidance of P status by, sir, redefining the definition of the P, correct? And 8, 9, 10 is aligning transfer pricing outcome with value creation that is intangible risk and capital and other high risk transaction. So how to value that cup method you are taking, how to deal with the functionalities, there so many people are cheating the government. So strengthen your rules and regulation to find out the cup, right? Then you are having transparency, you should be transparent. For that only action plan number 5 is having second component, exchange of information on inner only. Number 11, end analysis, data analysis, that means measuring, monitoring and measuring the indicators and open your mouth and say to the people that these are our BEPS report. Number 12, mandatory disclosures, mandatory disclosures. disclose these items, sir, country by country, re-examine the transfer pricing documentation, three documentation and dispute resolution, these all are for transparency. When we read now, we are able to appreciate and understand, yes, it is for transparency. And horizontal, horizontal means make it parallel, sir, there is no difference between domestic law and international law. So that's why we are, sir, curbing the digital economy, digital economy in business pannalu unnada, face to face the business pannalu unnada. That's what make it horizontal, make it tallying, make it equal. And MLI, multilateral instrument. So that's what we are talking about debts, super fantastic to the core. So, in that action plan number one, digital economy, we have not touched. The reason why we have not touched is it is relating to equalization levy. We will be coming to equalization levy at the appropriate time. So, action plan number two, hybrid mismatch arrangements. Just we will repeat what is hybrid mismatch arrangement. Hybrid mismatch arrangement is an arrangement that exploits a difference in the tax treatment of an entity or an instrument under the law of two or more tax jurisdiction to achieve double non-taxation. 
This will be tested in examination. I already told what are the hybrid mismatch arrangements. Number one, creation of two deduction for a single borrower. Generation of deduction without corresponding income inclusion. Misuse of FTC and participation exemption regimes. Super fantastic to the core. Sir, in, in order to not have hybrid mismatch arrangements, OECD recommended four recommendations. A rule, you should bring a rule denying transparency to entities where the non-resident investors, resident country, treat the entity as opaque. So when they treat you as opaque, you are not supposed to treat as transparent. If they treat as opaque, you also treat it as opaque. Right up. Number two, a rule denying an exemption or credit for foreign underlying tax for dividend that are deductible by the payer. That means once an interest is deductible in one country, you don't allow exemption in the another country is what the second rule. Third one, you have to bring a rule denying FTC foreign tax credit for withholding tax where the tax is also credited to another country. So I am not entitled for the tax credit. The credit has been passed to some other person. Then this guy should not what man, take the credit. If he takes the credit, it will lead to misuse of FTC. Right up. Yes, sir. Amendment to CFC that is controlled foreign company and similar regimes attributing local NA holder the income of foreign entity that are treated as transparent under their NA law, local law. If there is any CFC is there, then if you are having controlled foreign company and I am a shareholder of that controlled foreign company, then it will not be treated as the income of that jurisdiction, income of this jurisdiction having high tax rate. So make it as transparent automatically that will be avoided. So you have to basically make do the treaty changes and you have to bring and the hybrid rules and you may have branch mismatches my dear lovable students. There may be three types of branch mismatches. Number one, double deduction outcomes. Head office will claim the deduction, branch also will claim the deduction or deduction no inclusion outcomes that one person is claiming it as a deduction but it is not included in indirect deduction or no inclusion deduction. Indirect deduction means directly they are not claiming deduction. Indirectly the other party may claim it as a deduction. Right. This is what action plan number two. Action plan number three. Strengthen foreign company rules which is CFC. For that no specific, no specific what man rules and regulations has been given by OECD. They said that follow best practice recommendation. Try to avoid or strengthen the CFC companies. That's what. Action plan number four. They have said that don't allow to inject more and more debt into the capital structure so you may have three recommendations either follow fixed ratio rule or group ratio rule or targeted rules india adopted fixed, fixed ratio. ratio rule which is 30 percentage of EBITDA is the discussion and they have brought a specific section called a section 94b in excess of 30 percent of EBITDA will be disallowed and it has to be carried forward for eight assessment year and you can claim off set off in future right action plan number five counter harmful tax practices Actually, there are two parts in action plan number five. One is preferential rate of tax and other one is exchange of information. In For preferential rate of tax, what government has said that we are bringing 115 BBF at the rate of 10 percentage, provided more than 75 percent of the expenses are incurred in India. With regard to exchange of information, my dear lovable students, hello sir, we are having for exchange of information section 286, there we will be exchanging the information. Right. The next one, sir the action plan number six preventing an abuse treaty abuse for preventing treaty abuse sub protection against treaty shopping minimum standard we have to bring minimum standard in the sense means we will be either inserting three rules either lob rules lob means limitation of benefits rules or ppt rules what is principal purpose test rule or ppt alone or LOB rule supplemented by a mechanism that would deal with conduct financing arranging not already dealt with in the inner treaty. So these are the recommendations my dear lovable students of OECD in order to fulfill this recommendation. Hello. Yes, Our country has brought LOB rules in two treaties. Number one, India Mauritius Treaty and India Singapore Treaty. What they have said that is if you want to enjoy the concession what has been given in the indo mauritius treaty then at least this much percentage of the expense should be spent in this place is operating expenses in this particular place so when you are satisfying certain condition then only the benefit can be enjoyed that is what lob limitation of benefit what action plan number seven 
prevent the artificial avoidance of permanent establishment status. So we know that business profit will be taxable in the source country when they are having permanent establishment. So people start playing in that loophole saying that we don't have permanent establishment. They started creating artificial avoidance of permanent establishment. Read that. So they are saying that we don't have what at all, permanent establishment at all. So we are not liable to pay tax for the business income in the source country. What OECD recommend that alter, change your permanent establishment definition. That means you have to rewrite the definition. Even a small thing, even a small thing will lead to a permanent establishment. Their recommendations are reworking exception to the PE definition. Don't give much exception. Say that everything is formed part of permanent establishment. Analyzing arrangements entered through an agreement. If any contractual agreement, any agreement has been entered by a person in India with a non-resident or situated outside India, analyze that agreement. Who, what power this guy is having? Whether this guy in India is having the power to sir, conclude the contract on behalf of a non-resident, then treat it as a permanent establishment. That's what analyzing arrangements entered through an agreement, contractual agreement. These are the two things which has been recommended by the OECD. I'm moving into 8, 9, 10. In one shot, we can complete that. And we'll be coming into, what, 12? And we'll be coming into 13. That's my target is all about. Action plan number 8 to 10. That is transfer pricing outcome in line with value creation or intangibles or risk and capital and other high-risk transaction. So, the other way of, my dear lovable students, doing bets, base erosion and profit shifting is the outcomes of the transfer pricing. That means, I'm saying that this is a transaction value, but in a, sir, the TPO is saying that, no, this is the arm's length price. Anga uru chinna amount kammi aana koda, India ka varavendi tax kammi aayiru, correct? Over the last decades, and step with the globalization of the economy, worldwide intra-group trade has grown exponentially. Apo, head office branch ka vikkarudum, branch head office ka vikkarudum, kandhi, inni kura sadhaar namana vishyava maarich. Transfer pricing rules which are used for tax purpose are concerned with determining the condition including the price for transfer pricing with the MNE group resulting the allocation of profit to company within the group in different countries. We are following profit split method, correct? Yes, we are following profit split method. What profit split method is saying that if the transaction is one, then we have to split the profit between two countries, right? Yes. When we split the profit between two countries, my dear lovable students, if the formula goes wrong, our tax base goes wrong, correct? Huh? So, we should be able to get the required number of profit in India. Sir, in this regard, based on the arms length principle, transaction between associate enterprise has to be priced as if the enterprise were independent, operating at arms length and engaging in comparable transaction under similar condition and economic circumstance. So, today, the transaction between head office and branch are inevitable. Transaction between associated enterprise and deemed associated enterprise are inevitable. So, what government is saying that you should price, you should price sir, the transaction at arm's length price. At any length price? The arm's length price has proven useful as a practical and balanced standard for tax administration and tax base to evaluate transfer pricing between an enterprise and to prevent in a taxation. So, it is one of the important weapon you should transfer at any length price, arm's length price. However, with its perceived emphasis on an allocation of function, assets and risk, the existing guidance on the application of the principle has also proven vulnerable to manipulation. Because we know that arm's length price is a very important tool. Some, to some extent, we are happy that whatever income we are supposed to get, we are getting because of any length price. Length price. But, for example, in that arm's length price, we have discussed one thing that the country can share the expenses or share the revenue based on any length price. Arm's length price. You know how they will share the revenue? They will say that this is the capital employed in India. This is the capital employed outside India. This is a capital employed in third country. This is a capital employed in fourth country. So the total profit may be split based on the risk associated. Capital employed, asset employed. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Here, if they are feeling that if they want to make some small adjustment, they don't want to offer more tax in the non NSR high tax jurisdiction area like India, they will reduce the capital component in what? India and they will increase the capital component in Mauritius. So automatically more profit will be booked in Mauritius. Mauritius. And these people have to say that this is a BEPS, base erosion and 
So that risk is there. That risk is there. Because when you are taking cup, no risk is there. Because I am taking a transaction of a unrelated party to compare the transaction of a related party. There I can somewhat extend, ensure that whatever profit has to be booked in India is NSR booking in India. But we are having circumstances where mutual agreement will be there between associated enterprise to share the expenses and incomes, correct? At that time, there is a chance of we may get cheated. We may get? So this manipulation may can lead to outcomes which do not correspond to the value created through the underlying economic activity carried out by the members of MNE group. Maybe majority of the activities may be happened in India, but only least profit would have been allocated to India because of the basis on which that profit has been shared. Because of the basis on which the FOC action plan. Now, this is a background or need for the action plan. Now, OECD is going to recommend an action plan. The FOC action plan represents the inner work on transfer pricing, which has been a core focus of depth action plan. This is one of the core focus on debt action plan, the specific action focus on intangible risk and capital and other high transactions. These are the hard areas of transfer pricing and are summarized together in the final report aligning transfer pricing outcome with N creation. If you are heading for the recommendations all wrong, aligning N pricing outcome with N creation, value creation, clarification and strengthening of existing standard of transfer pricing. That is what our ultimate intention is all about. Clarifying and strengthening of existing standards. If you recur, NSR standards, transfer pricing standards set, we must strengthen panaporo. Yediku strengthen panam pranicha. Transfer pricing rules which are set out in Article 9 of Tax Treaty based on OECD and UN Model Tax Convention. Yes, yes. Sir, Article number 9 is Associated Enterprise. Correct? Yes, sir. And the transfer pricing guidelines are used to determine on the base of N length price. The condition including the price for transaction with the N group, MNE group. My dear lovable students, we are having various articles. Can you recall what are the articles? What is Article number 1? What is Article number 2? What is Article number 3? General. What is Article number 4? Resident. What is Article number 5? Permanent establishment. What is Article number 6? Income from immobile property. What is Article number 7? What is Article number 8? What is Article number 9? They have not given Article number 9 in the Model Tax Convention because they have picked only the important articles. Hello, sir. So, I am moving. Transfer pricing rules which are set out in Article number 9 of Tax Treaty based on the what and what model? And the transfer pricing guidelines which are used to determine on the basis of N. Arms length price, including the price for the transaction with an MNE group. The existing standard in this area have been clarified and what? Including the guidance on N length price. And the approach to ensure the appropriate pricing of hard to value intangible has been agreed upon within the arms length price. The work has focused on three key areas action plan number 8, 9, 10. So, my problem is, sir, I know that value creation is. Creating a main problem. Nariya vela India na rakhe the. Ana India ka andalu ke na karke dilay. Profit karke dilay. Correcta. So adha ensure pandrath ka agar action plan number eight, nine, ten. Okay man. Address enna pricing issue relating to enna transaction involving intangible. Such intangible are by definition mobile and they are generally difficult to value. So misallocation of profit generated by valuable intangible is a significant cause of debts. So, action plan number 8 is mainly focusing on intangibles. Hello? Yes, sir. Like anything, like know-how, patent, copyright, trademark, license, franchisee or any other assets of similar nature will be there. I may provide technical know-how to my associate enterprise. At what price I am charging that is a big question to be answered. Correct? Are you pretty alarming about the action plan number 8? Now, number 9. Contractual allocation of risk are respected only when they are supported by actual in the making. And thus exercising control over this what? Risk. Moreover, action plan number 9 addresses the level of return to funding provided by a capital rich MNE group member. Where those returns do not correspond to the level of activity undertaken by funding company. That means 
out of my 1000 crore i have invested 800 crore in india hello 200 crore in mauritius odugriya but this 800 crore investment is showing 2% return and 200 crore investment is showing 25% return nyayama no sir so this is what action plan number 9 is saying you have to sir check the return you have to check the return. of investment return of investment na evlo pote enak evlo varudhu adu country based correct ah irukka illaya nu paathukenga so action plan number 8 is talking about intangible, intangible items be very specifically care about intangible item because that is an area of vex number 2 action plan number 9 is saying that return on investment how much investment they are putting in all the country what is the return every country is showing that you specifically analyze from there you can understand that whether there is webs or not adhil nu ungalku enna purinjikala na webs iruka now coming to 10 this action plan focus on other i risk area which include the scope of addressing profit allocation resulting from control transaction which are not commercially rational which are cup met which are sorry profit split method right up that is on what basis they are splitting the profit adha neenga romba gavanama paathukenga because anga webs nadakka enna irukku the scope for targeting the use of enterprising in a way which which results in diverting profit from the most economically important activity of the mne group and use of certain type of payment between the members of mne group such as management fee ad hoc fees fee to erode the tax base in the absence of alignment with the value creation that means how they are deriving the profit how they are derivation derivation of the profit is the next one inga paaru india la profit determine pannum bodhu thevai illama pn la konla management fee adillama head office expenses expenses x expenses y ipdi la potu taaki thalli enna pannirukana net profit of india va enna pannirukana so what is the process what is the basis on which they are determining the profit so profit finalization is the sir action plan number 10 that is the main what in sir area profit finalization how they are sir finalizing the profit that means the scope for addressing profit allocation epdi avanga profit allocate pannirukanga number 1 paaru number 2 scope for targeting the use of enna method enda method use pannirukanga nu paaru moonavadhu enna enna thevilla expense debit panni vechirukanga nu paaru so this is another high risk area so oecd said that through their action plan action plan number 8 9 10 First, they have highlighted these are the areas you should be very careful. Hello, in the area, all the webs are under there. Why there? Up in the area, all you guys are very correct. You are doing action plan number eight. I am saying that yeah, the intangible, tangible. It is the one that we are not doing. Control. 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 at the area la royalty no how patent trademark those areas are cheating hello sir you be very very take extra care on that area then action plan number 9 return on investment sir you lo invest pandranga you lo return india lo lo return okay but a mauritius lo lo return so question arises you have to answer those question then number 10 what is the base of determination of the profit what are the method they are using hello what are the what nsr expenses they are booking what is the base of have they adopted cup method or avoided all the methods or they book based on their stamma then they have to analyze that's what nsr action plan number 10 progress in implementation people the implement how the india led the implement panirukangala additional guidance on attribution of profit to permanent establishment resulting from changes in action 7 final report to action 5 of oecd model tax convention was published in march 2000 இதை பத்தி படிச்சு மார்ச் 2018ல ஒரு ரிப்போர்ட் கொடுத்திருக்காங்க ரைட் ரிவைஸ்ட் கைட்லைன்ஸ் ஆன் என்ன प्रॉफिट ட்ரான்சாக்ஷன் என்ன மெத்தட் प्रॉफिट ஸ்பிட் மெத்தட் தட்ஸ் வாட் ஆக்ஷன் பிளான் நம்பர் 10 இஸ் ஆல் அபௌட் ஆக்ஷன் பிளான் நம்பர் 10 ஆல்ரெடி நான் சொல்லிட்டேன் என்ன ஸ்பிட் மெத்தட் बिकॉज ஹவ் டு டீல் வித் தி டிட்டர்மினேஷன் ஆஃப் தி प्रॉफिट அப்ப ஸ்பெசிஃபிக்கா அந்த ஒரு மெத்தட தான் அவங்க டார்கெட் பண்றாங்க வாஸ் பப்ளிஷ்ட் இன் ஜூன் 2018 அண்ட் பீ இன்கார்பரேட்டட் இன் நெக்ஸ்ட் எடிஷன் ஆஃப் ஓசிடி ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பிரைசிங் கைட்லைன்ஸ் அத பத்தி படிச்சு என்ன பண்ணிருக்காங்கனா ஜூன் 2018ல or report put there kanga additional guidelines addressed to tax administration on the application of hard to value intangible htvi nhtv na hard to value intangible that is action plan number 8 was finalized in june 2018 and will be incorporated in the next edition of oecd transfer pricing guidelines new transfer pricing guidelines on financial transaction that is action plan number 4 what is for thin capitalization then 8 intangible 10 
graphics with method was published in February 2020 and it will be incorporated in the next edition of OECD transfer pricing guidelines. So these, the progress in implementation will not be tested in examination because what implementation is going to What will be tested in examination means what are the OECD recommendations regarding the transfer pricing. In order to safeguard VEX from transfer pricing area, they have given three action plans. Action plan number 8, 9, 10. What 8 is saying? Intangibles. Intangible is a high value area. You have to be specifically taken care of intangible. Otherwise, there is a chance of debts. Then what is action plan number 9? Return on investment basically. How much investment they are putting for the corresponding return are they booking or not? You should be very specifically check it. What is action plan number 10? Profit split method. What is the base of splitting the profit? Are they using profit split method? or any other method has been used or any bogus expense has been booked by the name of management expenses, head office expenses such as Alosa yes, or what is the basis of deter determination of profit. These are the three action plans. That's it. Nothing has been what adopted by the India. But this much report has been given by the OECD. In a date, additional guidelines put to Kanga. Okay, well, guidelines put to Kanga. Idala Ninga check Paninga country by country. Abin Sulte, with regard to end of profit, attribution of profit. Profit every Pirikuno Abdinga, additional report put to Kanga. Then transactions are end of profit method. Profit split method apply Pandra Darna, end and every single governing known put to Kanga or a Sadapodil. Then additional guidelines of tax administration on sir, hard to value intangible. Hard to value intangibles deal pandra dhanda. Eppidi deal pandra dhanda. That is the guidance kutra kanga. If ICA will be issuing the guidance note. Nii paathar kya lena kutra kanga. Bank audit time lena guidance note kutra kanga. Various, various, various matters. Or or section kutra guidance note kutra kanga. Adhe maa yu OECD enna kutra kanga. Guidance note kutra kanga leta varay. Namak and the guidance note lender can make a syllabus dealer and the guidance note India either the other syllabus dealer. Okay, right. Namak Padiki Solid Kardana, Moon area, OECD address for Nirkanga. Action plan 8, 9, 10. What is 8? Very good. 9. Return on investment. 10. Method. In the Moon area, the specific governance center Solid Kanga. OECD. That's why you have various guidance. And the guidance in a date line is published. That's why you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. As a team, as a NSR, we have studied those areas and we give a report to you. Clear? I'm moving into the next one, man. What is action plan number one? Digital economy. Number two? Hybrid mismatch arrangement. Number three? Strengthen the CFC rules. Number four, thin capitalization. Number five, counter harmful tax practices. Six, preventing treaty abuse. Seven, avoidance of what P? Artificial avoidance of artificial P status. Eight, intangible. Nine, return on investment. Ten, Profit split method. Now 11 indicators. We are having 6 indicators. Yesterday we talked about indicators. Correct? I am moving into the 12th man. 12th index. It is very simple man. It is disclosure. Another? In financial statement we are disclosing. Yeah. Disclosure of aggressive tax planning arrangements. Disclosure of aggressive tax planning arrangements. This is hybrid mismatch arrangement. arrangement. A significant challenge faced by an authority. Worldwide is a lack of timely, comprehensive and relevant information on aggressive tax planning strategies. Information can come out. Country by country report can come out. That is proper information in Kaili. Timely access to such information would facilitate quick response to tax risk through information risk assessment, so informed risk assessment, audit or changes to legislation or what? In a correct information, what is the other on your decision? Domestic law change, domestic law strengthen, domestic law amendments, loopholes. Hello? Action 12 contains recommendation regarding the design of mandatory disclosure rule for aggressive NA planning scheme. Take into consideration the administrative and compliance costs for tax administration and business on drawing on experience of country that have implemented such rules. 
ஸோ இப்போ நான் வந்து வெப்ஸை தடையணும் வெப்ஸை தடைஞ்சு தான் ஆகும் வெப்ஸை என்னால் ப்ரமோட் பண்ணவே முடியாது அப்படிங்கும் போது என்னோட டொமஸ்டிக் லாவை நான் மேக்ஸிமம் ஸ்ட்ரென்தன் பண்ணி ஆகணும் அப்போ என்ன இஷ்யூன்னு தெரிஞ்சால் தானே என்னால் ஸ்ட்ரென்தன் பண்ண முடியும் அதை பொறுத்து தானே ஃபைனான்ஸ் ஆக்ட்ல என்னால் அமெண்ட்மெண்ட் எடுத்துகிட்டு வர முடியும் இது என்ன இஷ்யூன்னு படிக்கிறதுக்கு நான் பல கோடிகள் செலவு பண்ண வேண்டியதாக இருக்கு ஹலோ சார் இது ஒன்றுமே இல்லை பேசிக்காக இன்னொரு கண்ட்ரி சார் எனக்கு அந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ப்ராப்பராக கொடுத்தா எனக்கு ஈஸியாக தெரிஞ்சு போயிடும் என்ன வெப்ஸ் இருக்கா இல்லையா ஒரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் ரொம்ப சிம்பிள் மௌரீஷியஸில் ஒரு க ஒரு கம்பெனி இருக்கு மௌரீஷியஸில் கம்பெனி ஃபார்ட்டி பர்சன்ட் ப்ராஃபிட் புக் பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படின்னு ஒரு இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் என்கிட்ட சொன்னால் போதும் அதே கம்பெனியோட பிரான்ச் இந்தியாவில் இருக்கு ஃபோர் பர்சன்ட் தான் புக் பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படின்னா என்ன இருக்கு வெப்சைட் இது நானாக கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதா இருந்தால் கண்ட்ரி பை கண்ட்ரியாக கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதா இருந்தால் என்னால் அக்ரெசிவ் டாக்ஸ் அரேஞ்ச்மெண்ட்ஸ் பண்ண முடியும் <laughs> அது வழியா நீங்க வெப்சைட் என்ன பண்ணிக்கலாம் அவாய்ட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஹலோ இட் ரெகனைசஸ் த டூல்ஸ் அட்வான்டேஜ் ஆஃப் டூல் டிசைன்ஸ் டு ஃபெசிலிட்டேட் த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஃப்ளோ ஆன் டாக்ஸ் ரிஸ்க் டு டாக்ஸ் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் அண்ட் டாக்ஸ் பாலிசி மேக்கர்ஸ் அவங்க என்ன சொல்றாங்கன்னா இப்போ ஃபினான்சியல் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இருந்தால் ரேஷியோ அனாலிசிஸ் இருக்குல்ல எஸ் சார் ரேஷியோ அனாலிசிஸ் வச்சு நம்ம கண்டுபிடிச்சு சொல்றோம் இல்ல கம்பெனி நாட் குட் பேட் சார் கோயிங் கன்சர்ன் எஃபெக்ட் ஆகுது எவ்வளோ நம்ம பேசுறோம் கரெக்டா அது மாதிரி யூ ஆல்சோ அடாப்ட் சர்ட்டன் டூல்ஸ் சர்ட்டன் ஃபார்மட் சர்ட்டன் சாஃப்ட்வேர் டு இவாலுவேட் தி இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஆர் டேட்டா அண்ட் बेस्ड ஆன் தட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஆர் டேட்டா பிளான் அக்ரெசிவ்லி யுவர் tax planning are you really with me the report provides a modular framework for guidance drawn from the best practices for use by country without mandatory disclosure rules to design a regime that suit their requirement to get early information on potentially aggressive or abusive in a planning and their users so action plan number 12 report also set out specific recommendation for rules targeting an attack scheme as well as for the development and implementation of more effective information exchange and cooperation between an administrations appa action plan number 12 oda main vishayam enna na exchange of information you have to effectively exchange information provide the information on time help the other country disclose the information disclosure let everyone know about what is happening throughout the world then only they can take the identify the problem and they can take the proper actions right ah idu neenga pannunale naangi innor 50 action plan eduthu varan vendi enna illa avasi illa correct ah illa yena information illa engiradhu dhaan prachana main problem இப்போ இப்போ மௌரீஷியஸ்ல இந்த நான் சொன்ன மாதிரி இப்போ இந்த कंट्री இருக்கு இந்த कंट्रीல நாங்க எக்ஸம்ஷன் கொடுக்குறோம் at least அதாவது சொல்லு நீங்க இங்க டெட்டா ட்ரீட் பண்றீங்க நாங்க ஈக்விட்டியா ட்ரீட் பண்றோம் நீங்க இங்க இருந்து ஏதாவது இன்ட்ரஸ்ட் கொடுத்தீங்கனா அது அங்க டிவிடெண்டா மாறும் அதை நாங்க அங்க வந்து என்னவா ட்ரீட் பண்றோம் எக்ஸம்ட்டடா இந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் நீ சொல்லு ஓ कंट्रीல என்ன லா வச்சிருக்கேன்னு எப்படி இன்னொரு कंट्रीக்கு தெரியும் அப்ப நீங்க அதுக்காக ஒரு மாடியூல் கிரியேட் பண்ணுங்க அதுக்காக நீங்க ஒரு சாப்ட்வேர் கிரியேட் பண்ணுங்க டூல்ஸ் கிரியேட் பண்ணுங்க எல்லாரும் ஒரே மாதிரி இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் என்ன பண்ணுங்க ஷேர் பண்ணுங்க இது ஓய்சிரியோட ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் த ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் திஸ் ரிப்போர்ட் டு நாட் ரெப்ரசன்ட் மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் அண்ட் கண்ட்ரி கேன் டிசைட் வெதர் ஆர் நாட் டு இன்ட்ரோ மேண்டேட்டரி டிஸ்க்ளோஷர்ஸ் மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஒரு கான்செப்ட் என்னன்னா மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட்னா ஓய்சிடி ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் நீங்க ஃபாலோ பண்ணா அட்லீஸ்ட் உங்களுக்கு எக்ஸாம்ல ஃபார்ட்டி மார்க் அது கிடைக்கும் அதுதான் என்ன ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் நான் சொல்றதெல்லாம் நீ கேட்கறியா அட்லீஸ்ட் ஒரு ஃபார்ட்டி மார்க் அது கிடைக்கும் அதுதான் என்ன ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் மினிமம் சில ஸ்டாண்டர்ட்ல மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் இருக்கும் சிலதெல்லாம் மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சில சில ஓய்சிடி ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் பேசும்போது என்ன சொல்லியிருப்பான் அப்படி முன்னாடி எந்த ஆக்ஷன் பிளான் இருக்குன்னு ஒரு ஆக்ஷன் பிளான் பார்த்து சொல்லு இன்னைக்கு காலைல படிச்சோம் ஆஃபுல் டாக்ஸ் பாக்கிஸஸ் இது 5 அதுல எல்லாம் மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் என்னன்னா நாங்க சொல்றத கேட்டிங்கனா அட்லீஸ்ட் உங்களுக்கு சார் வெப்சைட் இருந்து ஒரு அளவுக்கு தப்பிக்க முடியும் ஒத்துக்கற நீ அதனால தான் எல்ஓபி ரூல் போட சொன்னா வாட் இஸ் எல்ஓபி ரூல் ஆ நீங்க லிமிடேஷன் ஆஃப் बेनिफिट ரூல் எடுத்துட்டு வர்றீங்களா ஒரு அளவுக்கு ட்ரீட்டி அபியூஸ் கம்மி பண்ணலாம் ஸ்டாப் பண்ணலாம் தட் இஸ் வாட் மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் 
பட் டிஸ்க்ளோஷர் அந்த மாதிரி மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் தரல இருபத்தஞ்சு பாயிண்ட் டிஸ்க்ளோஸ் பண்ணணும் பத்து பாயிண்ட் டிஸ்க்ளோஸ் பண்ணணும் நீங்க கண்ட்ரி பை கண்ட்ரி உட்காருங்க வாங்க மேப் போடுங்க பேசிட்டு நீங்க டிசைட் பண்ணிக்கோங்க என்ன <laughs> பிராக்டிஸ் <laughs> for rules targeting international tax schemes as well as for development and implementation of more effective information exchange and cooperation between in administrations so what we are feeling is the main problem with to have debts is lack of sufficient information on a timely basis so being a tax administrator disclose the information which are mandatory for that we are not giving a list to you that these are the information to be disclosed that you set between two country by setting in the map hello yes, and you make certain things as mandatory you make certain things as not mandatory according to the will and wish of the two country but as an oecd team we are feeling that lack of proper information is the main reason for the bets what is action plan number 1 digital economy number 2 hybrid mismatch arrangements number 3 strengthen csc rules number 4 thin capitalization number 5 counter, counter harmful tax practices number 6 prevent treaty abuse number 7 prevent artificial avoidance of peace status number 8 intangibles this 9 return on investment 10 this both are talking all the three are talking about transfer price right sir then 11 indicators of having debts what is 12 mandatory disclosures bring mandatory disclosures between tax administrators right da 13 documentation re examine transfer pricing documentation right da the lack of quality data again they are coming for information and data on corporation taxation has been major limitation to measuring the fiscal and economic effects of end avoidance make it difficult for authorities to carry out transfer pricing assessment on transaction between linked companies and even more difficult to carry out what audits so or company mnc maybe anju country la spread a irukuma irukum and anju country oda data kadachadha company as a whole ennala audit panna mudiyum appo nee pichi pichi india la irukadhu india la mattum kuduthittu ange irukadhu ange mattum kuduthena country as a whole engala paaka adanal nee country by country report tharanum master file tharanum local file tharanum right ah that's what under bets action 13 all large multinational enterprise are required to prepare a dash report with aggregate data on the global allocation of income profit taxes paid and economic activity among tax jurisdiction in which it what operates up as a whole the full country by country report has to be presented correct as per section 286 provided if the turnover exceeds 6400 crores yes sir yes sir the cbc report is shared with an administration in this jurisdiction for use in n level transfer pricing and bets risk assessments appreciate pandrani this report contain revised standard for transfer pricing documentation incorporating nfi nfi and template for country by country reporting of revenue profit taxes paid and certain measures of n activity i already show you shown you the country by country report sir format nyabagam irukka அது ஒரு ஒரு கண்ட்ரி பை கண்ட்ரி ரிப்போர்ட் இருக்கும் அது இல்லாம அதுக்குள்ள மாஸ்டர் ஃபைல் அதுக்குள்ள இல்லாம அதுக்குள்ள லோக்கல் ஃபைல் எல்லாமே இருக்கும் த ரிவைஸ் ஸ்டாண்டர்டைஸ் அப்ரோச் रिक्वायर டாக்ஸ் பேயர் டு ஆர்டிகுலேட் கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பிரைசிங் பொசிஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் will provide tax administration with useful information to access transfer pricing and other debts risk make determination about where audit resource can most effectively be deployed and in the event audit are called for provide information to commence and target audit inquiries in the matter you country by country report kudukkaradunala engalukku tax administrators kadaikkara benefit enna na engalala smooth ah audit panna mudiyum audit pannum bodhu endha area la focus pannanum engalukku and country by country report paathale theriyum rendu endha information ungukitta ketu vaangalonu engalukku theriyum that means our audit will be more efficient because of what report so country by country report will be disseminated through a automated government to government exchange mechanism right ah ni or country la enna panna kuda file panna kuda innor country ku ad automatically share panni panga automated mechanism vadiya 
the implementation package included in this report set out guidance to ensure that report are provided in a manner. <laughs> Otherwise, we will in a levy penalty. Correct, Alia? A timely manner of file under 271 GB penalty has been introduced in the Act. That confidentially is preserved and the information is used appropriately by incorporating model legislation and model competent authority agreement forming the basis of government to government exchange of this report. One government will not misuse that data. One government will share the data with other government. Other government has to handle with care. They should not misuse that data. report file Requirement as for any report. On action plan number 13 of the BEPS action plan, OECD reports provide for revised standard for transfer pricing documentation. Payasala Utrupa, Payasala Indi to D, Alan Alavele, Pudusa or Schemer to Tanga, transfer pricing documentation. Apatan transfer pricing Pathi Akuvera, Anivara Tayum. A template for country by country reporting of income, earnings, taxes paid, and certain measure of economic activity. And the report editor over Bodhi and the documentation editor over Bodhi, country by country report to go to specific format editor to one. Yellar Kitim, a day format, fill Panasola. Apada, then the country can end up on a mudi, now compare Panamudi, right? Three structure, three tire structure mandated by Yar. Betsonanga, if you want to have proper documentation of transfer pricing, then follow keep master file, local file, country by country report. Right up. The BEPS report recommends that country adopts an N approach to transfer pricing documentation. It mandates the following three tire structure. Number one, NFI. Sir, what do you what is master file? Standardized information relevant for all multinational enterprise and the members master file require multinational enterprise to provide an administration with a high level information regarding their inner business and transfer pricing policies the master file is to be delivered by MNE directly to Yark. that means India the constituent entity has to file in a file master file that means the overall NSR operations are the transfer pricing policy are the same that is எங்கள் கிவ்ளோ பிராஞ்ச் இருக்கு நாங்க இவ்ளோ இந்த இந்த என்ன कंट्रीல ஆபரேட் பண்றோம் இதெல்லாம் தான் எங்களோட டீடைல்ஸ் कंट्री वाइज இந்த ப்ராடக்ட் நாங்க டீல் பண்றோம் இதுதான் எங்களோட ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பிரைசிங் பாலிசி சலை குசி நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் என்ன ஃபைல் லோக்கல் ஃபைல் லோக்கல் ஃபைல் रिक्वायरिंग மெயின்டெனன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ட்ரான்சாக்ஷனல் ட்ரான்சாக்ஷனல் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் டு என்ன कंट्री இன் டீலிங் கவரிங் रिलेटेड party transaction and the amount involved in those transaction for example i may be situated in india correct i may have transact with singapore associated enterprise i may have transaction with malaysia in in sir Associate Enterprise or Japan Associate Enterprise or Dubai Associate Enterprise or Hong Kong Mauritius are you really with me? So even go over to the world of transaction for you in the price of transaction now for me at the NFA local that means locally now even in India between even giving the India between even giving the India between even giving the India between now you could have a lot of transaction for you at the NFA local so local file requiring maintaining of any information specific to each country in detail covering related party transaction and the amount involved in those transaction sir ap idu country by country report illa idu country by country report illa country by country report na as a total as a whole india la motta evlo business japan la evlo business sir mauritius la evlo business apdi kudukkaradha country by in the local file la mean pandra na innor country kuda evlo transaction panirukken adukku gross revenue match avadu puriyudha unakku right sir so in addition relevant financial information regarding specific transaction comparability analysis and analysis of the selection and application of the most appropriate transfer pricing method should also be captured in the local file on the nine will kill out put a commodity in a couple border can in and out of the resale price method put a guy in and out of the cost plus method put a guy in and out of the profit split method put a guy transaction net margin either in the method lada now value for your guy either you in the final solution Local file disclose over the local file is to delivered by MNE directly to the ARC. Up actually, local tax authority key rent file file for the number one master file. Master file means entity as a whole overview. Correct. So, next one local file. How much I am having transaction with other associated enterprises and the method of computing the arms and price. Right? Difference character for the name of 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 master file na sir overall overview kudukano sir next one local file na how much transaction i am having with each associate enterprise and the method of 
the right country by country report the beps action plan 13 report provides a template for multinational enterprise to report annually and for each tax jurisdiction in which they do business the information set out there this report is in a sir called the country by upon the format suggest pannade yaar na action plan 13 that is oecd dhan solli irukanga country by country report ipdi dhan irukanum to facilitate the implementation of cbc reporting standard action plan 13 report includes a cbc reporting implementation package which consists of modern legislation which could be used by country to require the ultimate entity of mne group to file the cbc report in its jurisdiction of residence including backup filing requirements that means what oecd said that parent entity is the person responsible to furnish the cbc report country by country report in the recommendation kudutha yaar ஓஐசி ஓஐசி என்ன சொன்னாங்கன்னா கான்ஸ்டிடியூன் இன்டிட்டி எல்லாரும் என்ன ஃபைல் பண்ண வேண்டா சிபிசி ஃபைல் பண்ண வேண்டா யார் ஃபைல் பண்ண போதும் 3 மாடல் காம்பிட்டன் அதாரிட்டி அக்ரிமென்ட் தட் could be used to facilitate implementation of exchange of nr report respectively based on the multilateral convention on administrative assistance in nr matter or bilateral tax convention and tax information exchange arrangement that is tia that means இப்ப ஒரு कंट्रीல வந்து சார் இங்க பாருங்க சிபிசி ரிப்போர்ட் வந்து parent entity என்ன பண்ணிட்டாங்க ஃபைல் பண்ணிட்டாங்க அவங்க வேற எந்த कंट्रीலயும் CBC ரிப்போர்ட் ஃபைல் பண்ண மாட்டாங்க கரெக்ட்டா இப்போ parent entity is situated in sir new york அப்படி வெச்சுக்கவே they will file the country by country report in new york the same data should be shared by the new york tax authority to the indian tax authority கரெக்ட்டா for that purpose have an agreement the government of india should have an agreement with the new york government by three ways you can enter into agreement three model competent authority agreement the competent authority of india will enter into an agreement with the competent authority of other country correct ah that could be used to facilitate implementation of exchange of what report uh, respectively based on this may be test and examination what are the three ways in which nsr 1 person can enter into agreement number one multilateral convention on administrative assistance in any matter so i am entering into agreement this is not double taxation or one agreement here my sir objective is not to eliminate the taxation double taxation adala kadaiya one country la yaraad tax related a document file pannanga na and the document en kuda enna pannu adu mattum na are you really with me just for exchange of information so adukaga neenga endha maadhiri treaty la enter pannalam na treaty doesn't mean that here it is not double taxation or one agreement generally in english treaty means any arrangement between two people are you really with me first one is multinational convention multilateral convention sorry enadhu on administrative assistance in any matter to employ the administrative things in tax matter please help me by sharing the report all right number 2 bilateral any convention tax convention inga paaru more than 10 country ore time la agreement la enter pandradha irundha multilateral convention enter pannuvaanga okay va rendu rendu country mattum enna pandranga enter pandranga na bilateral tax conventions enter pannuvaanga for example one parent company is situated outside india their constituent entity is situated in india are you all really with me so cbc will be filed in that country so we have to enter agreement only with that country hello for example if the same country is extended their leg to any other country in the coming future years hello it has become three or four country then bilateral will not work out you have to go for multilateral, multilateral. then tax information exchange agreements called as tieas tax information exchange agreement so what oecd is saying that by entering into this three type of agreement you get the cbc report from the another country that this may be tested in examination i want the words from your mouth so multilateral, multilateral convention on administrative assistance in tax matters bilateral, bilateral tax conventions tax information following informations are required in the nr report already the cbc report kannale paathirukom class la correct ah information relating to global allocation of mne income and nna pay ஒரு ஒரு கோலர் வந்துச்சு ஞாபகம் இருக்கா உனக்கு ரைட் இண்டிகேட்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் லொகேஷன் ஆஃப் எகனாமிக் ஆக்டிவிட்டி வித் இன் த சிபிசி ரிப்போர்ட் रिक्वायर எம்என்இ டு ப்ரொவைட் an annual report of economic indicators with the amount of revenue profit before income tax income tax paid accrued in relation to tax jurisdiction in which they do business cbc report are required to be filed in the jurisdiction of nr residents of the ultimate nr entity being subsequently shared between other jurisdiction through automatic exchange of information mechanism and the automatic exchange of information mechanism the moonu vishayangal number 1 multilateral convention of administrative assistance in tax matters bilateral tax conventions tax information right what are the advantages of three tax structure as per beps report in case ninga vandu country by country report master file or local file follow pandradunala enna benefit kadaikumna tax wise will be required to articulate consistent enna question question ஏ மாத்த முடியாது ஏனா எல்லாருக்கும் எல்லாமே தெரிஞ்சு போயிது கரெக்ட்டா இங்க ஒரு ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பைஸ் அங்க ஒரு ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பைஸ் அப்படினு என்ன சார் சொல்ல முடியாது
tax administrators would get useful information to assess enna pricing risk nammude income tax transfer pricing risk area nam assess panna enna sa romba easy a irukum tax administrators would be able to make determination about what their resource can most effectively be employed and in event audit are called for provide information to comments and target enna sa எந்த ஏரியாவை நான் கவனிக்கணும் எந்த ஏரியாவை ஆடிட் பண்ணும் எந்த ஏரியாவை கேள்வி கேட்கணும் எந்த ஏரியாவை வந்து நான் புரிஞ்சுக்கணும் இது எல்லாமே டாக்ஸ் ஸோ பேசிக்கலி சார் திஸ் த ப்ரைமரி யூசேஜ் ஆஃப் த்ரீ டைஸ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இஸ் ஃபார் த டாக்ஸ் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேட்டர்ஸ் தே வில் பி கெட்டிங் பெனிஃபிட் tax administrators means departments income tax department will know we can they can mitigate the transfer pricing risk point number 1 they know how to do the audit and in audit what question what areas to be focused as a tax payer you cannot change the answer arms length price in two different countries that is also helping the yaar tax, tax administrators so benefit yaarukna uh, file pandrom set poi iduvan country by country report master file right so this is the indian tax regime so after hearing the action plan number 13 1 3 that's why three reports are there correct ah yes sir 1 3 india has adopted something in their act that's why they have introduced section 286 transfer pricing provisions under the income tax act chapter 10 of the income tax act comprising 92 to 92 yes tell me daily sanju en sir setu poi idu thooku potu setu poi idu studies continue pannaada what is 92 what is 92a what is 92b what is 92ba what is 92c what is 92ca what is 92cb what is 92cc what is 92cd what is 92d what is 92e what is 92f that's what 92 to 92f right contain provisions relating to transfer pricing regime section 92 these sensor documents correct uh, require maintenance of prescribed information and documents relating to any transaction and specified domestic transaction by every person was entered into an any transaction also a constituent entity of an international group is required to keep and maintain the prescribed information and document in respect of ngo konja naalukku appuram or theriyara sentence vandirukku book la right sir the nara nana undu ellam pudu pudu vaarthaya pesi irundha 92d okay right implementation of international consensus in india india is one of the active member of deps initiative and part of international consensus for the purpose of implementing the international consensus international consensus na nee nanu onnu international la rendu perku difference illa naangu oru vishayam accept pannathadanal internationally micha country ki prachana varadu engal naanga sammadam மௌனம் சம்பந்தம் கன்சென்டா இருக்கோம் நாங்க ஹலோ சார் அப்ப இன்டர்நேஷனலி நீங்க ஒரு டிசிஷன் எடுக்கறதா இருந்தா நாங்க அதுக்கு எகைன்ஸ்டா நிக்க மாட்டோம் நாங்களும் அதுக்கு என்ன பண்ணுவோம் கோஆப்ரேட் பண்ணுவோம் a specific reporting regime in respect of cbc reporting also the master file has been incorporated in the what act the essential elements have been incorporated in income tax act while the remaining aspects would be dealt in the detail in income tax rules refer to chapter 24 transfer pricing where in the following has been discussed at length avangalukke theriyad at length la elements relating to cbc reporting requirement and related matters which has been incorporated in section 286 of the income tax act already naanga refer pannitom correct ah maintenance and furnishing of master file consequent provisions incorporated in section 92d of the income tax act hello yes sir threshold limit for consolidated group revenue a eh, even that also we have discussed how much 6000 for applicability of cbc reporting requirement ellarku the applicable illa inga paare even 94b also more than 1 crore cbt cbc reporting also more than 6400 crores 6400 crores ku mele group revenue pona mattum da cbc report file panna vendiya adhilama lutulus kala file panna vendiya the cbc reporting requirement of a reporting year does not apply unless a consolidated revenue cfs pa in of the preceding accounting year of the group based on cfs exceeds a threshold to be prescribed the threshold for total consolidated group revenue of the international group prescribed under 286 to the red with rule 10 db of the income tax act is 6000 itta neram nam pesnadu ellame 6400 crores ku mele pona da otherwise apply aga vendiya right ah this all are for transparency and the pillar la da varu எந்த பில்லர் ஒருத்த அது நல்ல டிஸ்க்ளோஸ் பண்ண சொல்றான் அதனால தான் कंट्री பை कंट्री ரிப்போர்ட் ஃபைல் பண்ண சொல்றான் கரெக்ட்டா வாட் இஸ் ஆக்சன் பிளான் நம்பர் 
डिजिटल इकोनॉमी नंबर टू आई बिल मिसमैच अरेंजमेंट नंबर थ्री स्ट्रेंथ एंड सी एस सी रूल्स नंबर फोर तीन कैपिटलाइजेशन नंबर फाइव काउंटर हार्मफुल टैक्स प्रैक्टिस नंबर सिक्स प्रिवेंटिंग पीटी अब्यूज नंबर सेवन प्रिवेंटिंग आर्टिफिशियल अवॉइडेंस ऑफ वाट इज एट नाइन रिटर्न इन्वेस्टमेंट टेन प्रॉफिट स्प्रिट मेथड इलेवन इंडिकेटर्स ऑफ बेट ट्वेल्व मैंडेटरी डिस्कोर्स डिस्कोर्स फॉर वाट अग्रेसिव tax planning arrangements if you disclose information only i can aggressively tax plan correct up what is 13 tax appraisal documentation re examination of 14 i am coming man which is making dispute resolution more effective dispute resolution it's very easy it's very small dispute resolution more effective as novel challenges relating to international taxation surface the necessity of having robust dispute resolution process in place become increasingly apparent rendu perku edha prachana na ukkan pesunga right ah neenga treaty enter pannadukapro adha sir yaar rendu perku adha andu ukkan pesalle recent statistics shows that tax administrations are closing more cases than ever before CIT appeal i tat i court supreme court nu case enna sir kumi id tax la our new map cases are from 2016 are increasing significantly thus putting up for pressure on the country's map inventories that is the competent authority of one country will be entering agreement with the competent authority of the another country idhuve or velaya vechirupanga and the map enter pandrathukaga so many applications are coming so many cases are pending from that what we have understanding is there are so much dissatisfaction between the countries regarding the tax pricing cases are you really with me yes. therefore total inventory of map case keep increasing every year since the number of cases close has not been able to keep up with the number of nna cases i see syllabus mari or chapter padikirukulla adha naal chapter add pannidom right so புது புது கேஸ் வந்துட்டே இருக்கு மேப் கேசஸ் இங்க நம்ம மெயினா பேசுறது CITF ரோட அப்பீல் பத்தி இல்ல எல்லாமே மேப் ஆங்கிள்ல தான் பேசுறோம் ஓகேவா தி பெப் ஆக்சன் பிளான் 14 மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் 6 மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் அப்ப அவங்க சொல்றாங்க தி அட் லீஸ்ட் இதாவது அச்சீவ் பண்ணோம் நம்ம டு இம்ப்ரூவ் தி ரெசல்யூஷன் ஆஃப் இன்டர் रिलेटेड டிஸ்பியூட் பிட்வீன் ஜூரிஸ்டிக்ஷன் இன்க்ளூசிவ் ஃப்ரேம் வொர்க் ஜூரிஸ்டிக்ஷன் ஹஸ் கமிட்டட் டு ஹேவ் देयर கம்ப்ளைன்ஸ் வித் தி இன்டர் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் and monitored by its peer through a robust peer review process that seeks to increase efficiency and improve the timeliness of resolution of double taxation disputes so what <coughs> bets is saying that romba evlo sikrama nammala vande map resolution panna mudiyumo avlo sikrama map resolution pannanum idu tharikka koodadu effective ah maatanum country ki dissatisfied ah koodadu objective of measures developed under action plan number 14 rendu objective rende rendu da inda edukkaga nama vandu dispute resolution effective panna solrom na number 1 minimize the risk of uncertainty or risk enna pannanum minimize unintended in taxation idu rendeyu avoid pandrathukaga da kammi pandrathukaga da illa maakrathukaga da neenga enna panna solrom na action plan number 14 through ad eppadi sir pannuvom naanga consistent and proper implementation of any treaty நீங்க ப்ராப்பரா tax treaty implement பண்ணுங்க ரெண்டு country follow பண்ணுங்க breach பண்ணாதீங்க are you already with me okay man effective and timely resolution of dispute regarding their interpretation or application through what உங்களுக்கு in case interpret பண்ணும்போது we anna sir enna fact sum kanvanda avanadu ah adhe da அந்த மாதிரி கரும கண்டாவி இல்ல நீங்க போட்டதுக்கு அப்புறம் உங்களுக்கு என்ன வருதுன்னா டிஸ்பியூட் வருதுன்னா கரெக்ட்டா ஆர்டிகிள் நம்பர் 25 கூப்ட் வெச்சு மேப் என்ன பண்ணுங்கனா ஃபாலோ பண்ணுங்க சீக்கிரமா உங்க டவுட்ஸ் கிளியர் பண்ணிட்டு ப்ராப்பரா இம்ப்ளிமென்ட் பண்றதுக்கான வழியை பாருங்க எலிமினேட்டிங் ஆப்பர்ச்சூனிட்டி ஃபார் கிராஸ் பார்டர் tax avoidance and evasion and effective and efficient prevention of inner taxation are significant to developing an international tax system that facilitate economic growth and buoyant global economy that means don't provide a chance for double taxation double taxation ku vaippu kudukadinga double non taxation ku vaippu kudukadinga 
எல்லா கண்ட்ரியுமே வேர்ல்டு அஸ் எ ஹோல் ஒரே மாதிரி ஒர்க் பண்ணி டிஸ்பியூட்ஸை கிளியர் பண்ணி ட்ரீட்டியை அப்ளை பண்ணி சார் சேஃப் கார்ட் பண்ணிக்கோங்க கண்ட்ரிஸ் கன்கர் தட் மெஷர்ஸ் இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் டு அட்ரஸ் பெப்ஸ் person to bex action plan should not result in unnecessarily uncertainty for complaint in a pair and unintended in a taxation improving dispute resolution mechanism is therefore a critical component of work on an issue இப்ப நாங்க நிறைய ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் சொல்றோம் இல்லையா நிறைய ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் சொல்றதனால சில ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் ஒரு कंट्री எடுத்துப்பாங்க சில ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் ஒரு कंट्री எடுத்துக்க இதனால அவங்க ஆல்ரெடி எண்டர் பண்ணி வெச்சிருக்கற சார் ட்ரீட்டிஸ் எஃபெக்ட் ஆக என்ன இருக்கு வாய்ப்பு இருக்கு நீங்க <laughs> 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 plan 14 minimum standard consists of elements and best practice which assess a judi, ju, jurisdiction legal and administrative framework in the following key four areas naal area govikiradhu solirukanga preventive disputes number 1 dispute illam irunga availability and access to what map tak tak nu map la enter pannunga tak tak nu map mudichirunga odugriya next one resolution of any cases ரிசால்வ் பண்ணி விட்டுருங்க ஒரு ஒன்ஸ் அந்த மேப் ஃபைல் பண்ணிட்டாங்கன்னா டக்குனு ரெண்டு கண்ட்ரி கூட்டி என்ன போன பிரச்சனை என்ன போன பிரச்சனை ஓகே பக்கம் பாவலாம் இதான் பண்ணிச்சு ஹலோ சார் இம்ப்ளிமெண்டேஷன் ஆஃப் என் அக்ரிமெண்ட் மேப்பில் என்ட்ரு பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் மேப்பை என்ன பண்ணுங்க இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பண்ணுங்க திஸ் ஆர் தர் கீ ஏரியாஸ் ஆஃப் ஆக்ஷன் பிளான் நம்பர் ஃபோர்டீன் ஃபோர் கீ ஏரியாஸ் ரைட்டா நம்பர் ஒன் ப்ரிவெண்டிங் டிஸ்பியூட்ஸ் அவைலபிலிட்டி ஆன் ஆக்சஸ் டு மேப் ரெசல்யூஷன் டு மேப் கேசஸ் இம்ப்ளிமெண்டேஷன் ஆஃப் i am coming to peer review implications for what india india would have effect on it peer review the bebs action plan 14 has suggested an review to ensure adequate implementation of suggested in a standard as a result the peer review undertaken for india in 2019 highlighted india progress on in a program and suggested recommendation for more effective functioning of the what According to the peer review and BEPS action plan number 14, Indian tax authorities have taken significant step to reform the map framework and make it what? India has said that you can make the map in your country more effective. If you have to say that 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 you have to say. So, Indian authorities have taken steps. In a step, sir, the significant reforms include CBDT substituted rule number 44G. and omitted rule number 44h of the income tax act white cbdt notification or something or something the new rule 44g extensively deal with implementation and procedural framework for enna process appo or specific rule eduthu vandanga palaya rule illa delete pandranga neenga dhaan sonninga palaya rule engalukku enna vaalla effective vaalla enna country illa hello sir so and the rule poku pele bodu pudhu rule naanga eduthu varom rule number 44g adula map cases eppadi deal pannum naanga sweet and short ah solli irukom naanga adha follow up panikom in line with the nsr bets action plan 14 recommendation india submits a detailed nna note on map dated 7 august 2020 available at income tax india.gov.not news news most all the map guideline addresses many of the open issue on procedural aspects of map and more importantly clarify key practical nuances absent in the pre bets era regime for the tax payers to resort appo naanga as an india neenga dhaan enna kora sonninga ena vandu map vandu enna vaalla nu எஃபெக்டிவா இல்லை நாங்கள் என்ன கொடுத்துருக்கோம்னா கைடன்ஸ் நோட் கொடுத்துருக்கோம் ப்ரொசீஜரல் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் எப்படி ஃபாலோ பண்ணுங்கிறது அது மாதிரி மேப் வர்றதுக்கு முன்னாடி யாராவது கஷ்டப்படுறதா இருந்தால் அவங்களுக்கு எப்படி மேப்பில் என்ட்ரு பண்ணுங்கிறதையும் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக்காக நாங்கள் மென்ஷன் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் நாங்களும் கோஆப்ரேட்டிவ் கண்ட்ரி தான் நாங்களும் மேப்பை எஃபெக்டிவாக என்ன பண்ணுவோம்னா இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பண்ணுவோம் ரைட்டா வாட் இஸ் ஆக்ஷன் பிளான் நம்பர் ஒன் நம்பர் டூ நம்பர் த்ரீ நம்பர் ஃபோர் நம்பர் ஃபைவ் number 6 number 7 avoidance of artificial p status avoidance number 8 number 9 number 10 profit split method number 11 number 12 mandatory disclosure for edukaga number 13 re examine the transfer pricing documentation number 14 
making dispute map more effective dispute resolution more effective the last one 15 mli multilateral instruments this we can't read the line by line because a lot of things are there and all are not so much important for examination we'll be reading here and there first hello sir but this is little important in the sense means you can't avoid it but if they have given like a hindu newspaper so many things has been given in one nsr class alone michado apdi da irukke illen sollala but ore action plan ku maybe we have to go through this two question illustration what has been given illustration number 1 oh idhu illustration vera ya then how does the mla operates mechanism adoda procedure eppadi mla then illustration number 2 adoda answer also given fine fantastic so we'll be give you an idea of sir what is mla is all about romba simple da sir abuse of tax treaty nama tax treaty la enter pannadukku appuram nama saavadikiranu illaya try to treaty shopping pandranga illaya is a important source of what webs adhu dhan webs uruvarathukana kaaraname treaty shopping one of the hello sir primary the mli what is mli help the fight against what debts by implementing the treaty related measures developed through the debts project in existing in a treaty in a synchronized and in a manner okay boy inga va sir oecd in or group or country or place or area or team idha pathi ella padichirukanga avanga padichu da idhella debts varadhukku enna irukku kaaranam irukku appdinu enna tharanga report tharanga அப்ப ஓஇசிடி ஒரு ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் சொல்லும் போது நீங்க ஆல்ரெடி என்ன பண்ணிருப்பீங்கன்னா ட்ரீட்டில என்டர் பண்ணிருப்பீங்க அதை பொறுத்து நீங்க ட்ரீட்டி மாத்த வேண்டியதா இருக்கும் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எல்ஓபி கிளாஸ் சார் ட்ரீட்டி அபியூஸ் வர்றதுக்கான காரணமே ட்ரீட்டி ஷாப்பிங் பா அது வர்றதுக்கான காரணமே என்னன்னா ட்ரீட்டி ஷாப்பிங் தான் நான் இந்தோ பாகிஸ்தான் ட்ரீட்டி என்டர் பண்ணிருக்கேன்னா நியூசிலாந்துல இருக்கிறவனுக்கு இந்த ட்ரீட்டி என்ஜாய் பண்ணவே கூடாது அவன் கரெக்டா இல்லையா Quarangu Bari, he is coming to Pakistan and being a resident of Pakistan and investing in India to enjoy this treaty. This is a good idea. That's why we have to tell you about shortcuts. One is the LOB clause or PPT clause or PPT alone or PPT alone or substitute the LOB clause with some other things which may help you to achieve the thing. Correct? இதெல்லாம் நான் சொல்லும் போது இப்ப ஆஸ் ஏ இந்தியா நீ யோசிக்கிற ஓகே ட்ரீட்டி ஷாப்பிங் நிறைய நடக்குது எப்படியாவது ட்ரீட்டி ஷாப்பிங் நான் என்ன பண்ணியோ கம்மி பண்ணியோ அதுக்கு ஒரு சூப்பர் டீம் ஸ்டடி பண்ணி எனக்கு ரிப்போர்ட் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க அத ஓஐசிடி அவங்களோட ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன் சோர் சாப்பிடவா அவாய்ட் பண்ண மாட்டான் बिकॉज அவங்க இருக்குறதே எதுக்குனா பெட்ச கம்மி பண்றதுக்காக அதுல இந்தியா ரொம்ப குறியா இருக்கு बिकॉज இந்தியா இஸ் a tax nsr hell or they want more tax yes. our source of income itself is only what tax tax namoda yes. main source of income enna da tax, tax na appo webs na first poi nippan kodi mudichu webs irukka koodadhu appo india want to reduce the webs want to implement the recommendation of the oecd that's why namu oecd member a illana kuda namm or team potu idalam padichu webs enga irukku kandupidikkaradhukku sir 10000 kodi selavu panna vendiya irukku evan betta pullayo padichu solra தா இதெல்லாம் வந்து என்ன பண்ணிக்கோ இம்ப்ளிமென்ட் பண்ணிக்கோ ஓ டொமஸ்டிக் லாவ காபாத்திக்கோனு எங்களுக்கு அத வேணும் அப்போ இப்ப அவங்களோட ரெக்கமெண்டேஷன பேஸ் பண்ணி அவங்க எல்ஓபி கிளாஸ் போட சொன்னாங்க ஓகேவா as indian government i want to put lob clause in all the treaty whatever i have entered that means under treaty na mathram aasa padren oru naalu treaty la lob clause oru 10 treaty la vandu mfn clause nation clause இது மாதிரி அவர் சொல்ற கிளாஸ் எல்லாம் நான் இன்சர்ட் பண்ணணும்னு ஆசைப்படுறேன் எப்போ தெரியுமா 1990 ல இருக்கும்போது நான் ட்ரீட்டி என்டர் பண்ணது டபுள் டாக்ஸேஷன் என்ன அக்ரிமென்ட் அதுக்கு அப்புறம் அந்த कंट्रीக்கு போவே இல்ல இப்போ அந்த कंट्री கிட்ட போயிடு எதை மாத்தணும்னு சொன்னா மாத்தணும்னு சொன்னா அவ என்ன சொல்லுவானா வா கிழிச் போட்டுரு அவ்வளவுதான் உனக்கு அந்த ட்ரீட்டியே தேவ இல்ல इट्स வெரி டிफिकल्ट சோ என்னால 100 ட்ரீட்டியும் மாத்திட்டு இருக்க முடியாது சோ வாட் ஐ will do is i will enter into a common agreement called as multi lateral instrument once na multi lateral instrument la enter pannita automatically en kaiyil irukra ella treaty maarido oru document enter panna podu 100 treaty automatically amend aayidum are you really with me 
So these measures will prevent N abuse, improve N resolution, prevent the artificial avoidance of N and neutralize the effect of hybrid mismatch arrangements. Now we have a solution that is MLI. Another Kadassi action plan 15 of the WEBS action plan provides for analysis of tax and public international law. Issue relating to development of an instrument to enable country that wish to do so implement measures developed in the course of work on WEBS and I mean bilateral tax treaty. If you want to implement the recommendation which has been given by OECD, hello, yes, because of implementing that your existing treaty will get affected. You both enter into multilateral formation of ad hoc group to develop MLI. So based on this analysis, a mandate for formation of an ad hoc group to develop a N instrument on tax treaty measure to tackle bets was approved by N committee. On fiscal affairs and endorsed by G20 finance ministers and central bank governors in February 2015. LRM told us, okay, we will approve the multilateral instrument. Enter panikalam, abhi enter panangana the valid document na all over world adon dikhe validity rakhe. In line with Action 15 report, an ad hoc group was formed with a pre-defined purpose of developing of such what that adopted the text of convention and accompanying explanatory statement in November 2016. India was a part of any group of more than 100 countries and jurisdiction from G20, OECD, BEPS Associate and other interested countries which work on equal footing on the finalization of text of N convention. Starting May 2015, the text of the convention recommending explanatory statement was adopted by ad hoc group on 24th November 2009. So everyone feels the same, everyone is say, having the opinion that yes, we have to bring MLA. So for that one team, one committee has been formed. Because it is not between two countries, it is between many countries. Once MLA has been entered means it is applicable for all the country. So that language should be favorable for me, that language should be favorable for all the country, every country's concern should be provided, every country's concern should be taken care, correct? Apo, everyone was form part of a committee and they have drafted a report like our OECD model or UN model Madri. So if you are you want to interested to or three countries want to interested to enter into what? Multilateral, take this format, you enter. Then it can avoid the dispute between any country, the three countries. Otherwise, that is not a problem. If you don't have a map, you don't have a problem. If you enter in the third multilateral instrument, that is not a problem. If you enter in the third multilateral instrument, you enter in the third multilateral instrument. What are the features of MLI? Sir, we have to understand in this paragraph from the help. The multilateral convention is thus an outcome of OECD or ENA project to tackle base erosion and ENA shifting. That is tax planning strategy that exploit gap and mismatch in the ENA rule to artificially shift profit to low or no tax locations where there is a little or no economic activity resulting in little or no overall corporate tax being paid. This is the web sort of full form. If in examination, if they ask what is BEPS, base erosion and energy shifting, it is a base erosion. It is a tax planning strategy. It is a that exploit gap and energy matches. If an Indian country or a law, foreign country or a law, gap is there. And the two energy matches are there. That is not exploit. That is not exploit in tax rules to artificially shift profit. What is the profit of the shift? To low or where there is little or no economic activity. You can see that there is no full economic activity. Resulting in little or no overall corporate tax rate being paid. If you do it, overall corporate tax rate is 1% or 2%. So you are shifting the profit from the high tax jurisdiction to the low tax jurisdiction. By enjoying the gaps or mismatches in two countries' rules and regulation is called as debts. Clear? Yes, MLI modifies any treaty that are covered tax agreement. They will be asking, lot of technical words will be there. CTN is covered in agreement. A covered tax agreement is an agreement for the avoidance of any taxation. That is in force between parties to the MLI and for which both parties have a notification that they wish to modify the agreement using the MLI. Inga wa. Soltuma. Sir, Indo-Pakistan treaty is there. Indo 
Mauritius Treaty is there. Indo Singapore Treaty is there. Indo France Treaty is there. Indo Japan. Podumpa. Japan. These five treaties, hello sir. This five treaty I want to implement a. This five treaties I want to implement a specific clause called as LOB clause. Example soldier, LOB clause. In the Anji treaty, we may or have LOB clause entered one or not asked for. Okay, ba. Okay, ba. Yes, sir. If Anji treaty, na Anji wadi treaty, I want to do that. This is why I want to do India, na ne, Pakistan, Mauritius, Singapore, France, Japan. In the all are set or a agreement level money go sign for it. Sign for it. Apni na ma yenna pandra dinala sign pandra dinala. Anna sign pandra agreement na solra perda. MLA. Enna de. Adi sign pandra dinala yedu maru. Yenna detail maru. Jab en geli dirikna. Indo Pakistan maru. This is called as covered tax agreement. So these are covered in the MLA. Puri da liya. So, a covered tax agreement is an agreement for avoidance of what? Double taxation. That is in force, already force. Between parties to the MLA, hey, these are the parties to the MLA, man. India, Pakistan, Mauritius, Singapore, Japan, all those guys. Correct? And for which both parties have made a notification, they wish to modify the agreement using the MLA. अपने एमएलए यूज़ पन्नी इन द एग्रीमेंट डे ला नांगे ना पढ़ो ना आस पढ़ो अपन इन द एमएलए व्हाटेवर ट्रीटी आर गोइंग टू गेट अमेंडेड इस कॉल्ड एस दैट्स व्हाट सीटीए इस ऑल अबाउट एन्ना पक्लारिटी अपन द एमएलए इस एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट व्हिच विल मॉडिफाई एन्ना ट्रीटी अकॉर्डिंग Tax treaty related BEPS measures. The MLA provides for different types of flexibility. This may be tested in examination. This is the purpose of entering into MLA. Sir, first you should understand what is MLA. MLA is a document where the covered tax arrangements can be altered automatically. Correct? The MLA enter upon the run on the benefit. Jurisdiction can choose among alternative provisions in certain what? MLA articles. So, how do you think about it? How do you think about it? Choose for Nikola. Jurisdiction can choose to apply in a provision. For instance, the provisions mandatory binding arbitration. In the either provision, either being reminded to the club. Jurisdiction may also choose to reserve the right not to apply what provision? To opt out through a reservation which respect to all their covered tax agreement or with respect to a subset of their covered tax agreement. Jurisdiction only have possibility to opt out of provision that do not reflect the BEPS minimum standard with the possibility of withdraw their reservation. Opt out later. Go on. Sir, MLA in full form? Multilateral instrument. That is a format that you have to do. Where do you have to do? You have to do the team. Correct? And the MLA is saying that all points are maybe applicable. So, when I sign the MLA, I can opt out. Where do you have to do this? 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 आप जूरिस्टिक्शन के बीच में हम अदना नहीं पाते ना की दाउंगे एक्सप्लेन पढ़ने वांगे इन द की द इन द ओरोर पॉइंट ही में ये डिटेल बंदे ऐना सर क्लियर आ डिटेल डा ऐना पन रंगे ना द कवर्ड टैक्स एग्रीमेंट अब इन्हें ऐना की ऑर्गेन्स ऑफ एमएलए ओके बाप नेक्स्ट वन कंपैटिबिलिटी क्लास ऐना क्लास then अध कपर वंदे compatibility clause bridge between DTA and what मदले DTA लांगी दे सोली नो इप MLA लांगी दे सोल रो इध bridge पन रहते कागे दा इन्ना clause रे पांगर compatibility clause रे पांगर that means in place of अब दिन सोल वांगर इलेना in the enough absence of apply to or what modify in place of or in enough absence of right on next one reservation clause इन्ना mechanism Opt out mechanism. India has reserved its position on Article 3 of MLA on transparent entity. Bets action plan 2. Therefore, Article 3 will not be added or modified in any of India's existing DTA as India has en out. Opted out. That means India in a Sultangana Nanga Article 3 already Nanga DTA enter upon your con which and the Article 3 MLA. We are not ready for that. We are not 
Because our amend panna naal kingle ki backfire aage nirti. Apna naal we are ready to enter into MLA for any other articles, but this article three we have opt out. That means naal ki MLA enna panna kuda. Yengalor article three enna vadi. Apna effect a vadi. Apna ille disturb a vadi. Disturb a vadi. Aaja apni enna? Kani aaja ki DTA da apna yau me thora. MLA apna yau vadi. Renda vadi par. France has reserved its position on Article 4 on the, of the MLA on dual resident entities. That's action plan number two. Therefore, when we apply India France DTA, Article 4 of the MLA would not affect the RA, since France has announced reserves its position on the said Article 4 of the MLA. इधर मरी France ने बनी करेगा ना Article 4 DTA ने सुनिए करा Article 4 है ना अगर MLA वरिया मात्रा विरुपा पड़ा ले अपन आले किन्हें एंडर पनीर ना कोड़े MLA एंडर पनीर ना कोड़े नी Article 4 के अंगदाम बाग மிச்ச ஆர்டிகலுக்கு எம்எல்ஏ இருக்குனா எம்எல்ஏ என்ன சொல்லிருக்கியோ அதுதான் அப்ளிகபிள் ஆகும் இதுதான் ஆப்ட் அவுட்னு சொல்றது அரியல் ரயில்வே துமே எஸ் சார் சார் யு ஆர் ஹேவிங் மினிமம் என்ன சார் மேண்டேட்டரி மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட்ஸ் நான் ஆல்ரெடி சொன்ன மேண்டேட்டரி மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட்ஸ் எதுதுல இருக்குன்னு கேட்டேன் கரெக்ட்டா அவுட் ஆஃப் தி ஃபோர் மினிமம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் பிரிஸ்கிரைப் பண்ற பெட்ஸ் ஆக்ஷன் பிளான் தட் இஸ் ஆக்ஷன் நம்பர் 5 கவுண்டர் ஆம்ஃபுல் டாக்ஸ் பிராக்டிசஸ் நம்பர் 6 ட்ரீட்டி அபியூஸ் அண்ட் பிரிவென்ஷன் மெக்கானிசம் நம்பர் 13 कंट्री பை कंट्री ரிப்போர்ட்டிங் நம்பர் 14 எஃபெக்டிவ் Dispute Resolution Panel. Sir, when MLA enter, it will be the same date. It will be the same date. Effective date. Let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. Yes, sir. 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 That's it. So, I'll be discussing what is relevant for MLA because they have given a lot of things out there. But certain terms may is our test in examination like ipo cta abin ketta enna nu solvinga so mla valiya endenda dta maara podo adhu da adhilume full dta maaradhu sela class opt out pannikala okay va appo ipo padi the mla is a enna instrument which will modify enna treaty according to the jurisdiction policy preferences with respect to implementation of related debt measures the mla provides for different types of flexibility number one jurisdiction can choose among in a provision in certain mla article so adu ungalku choose pannikala okay engalukku option number one better ah irukku naanga mla la and option choose pannikrom adillama fixed sir mandatory adu fixed format kadaiyadu enna nu solradhu mla adhe naanga rendu moonu option koduthirukom ungaloda jurisdiction ku edhu suit aagudho adu idha first benefit number two jurisdiction can choose to apply any provision for instance a provision mandatory by binding any sir arbitration mandatory provision illama ungalku venna option provisions vena neenga enna pannikalam opt pannikalam adu ungaloda saugiryatha porthu naanga facility dhaan provide pandrom idu vandu cut and rate enna kadaiyadhu na sir prefix text kadaiyadhu okay va next one jurisdiction may also to reserve the right not to apply any provision that to opt out through any reservation neenga sollalam என்னடா எம்எல்ஏ என்டர் பண்ணாலும் ஆர்டிகல் நம்பர் 4 5 6 எங்களோட டிடிஏ தான் நாங்க ஃபாலோ பண்ண போறோம். நாங்க எதை ஃபாலோ பண்ண போறது இல்ல. அப்படி உங்களுக்கு ஆப்ட் அவுட் பண்றதுக்கான ரைட்ஸ் உண்டு. வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் देयर இன் அக்ரிமென்ட் கவர் டாக்ஸ் ஆர் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு சப்செட் ஆஃப் देयर கவர் டாக்ஸ். ஜூரிஸ்டிக்ஷன் only have the possibility to opt out of provision that do not reflect bets in a standard. with the possibility to withdraw the reservation later when the reservation future la enum pannikalam withdraw um pannikalam opt out vena withdraw pannikalam adukapra mla enna avum apply avum appo mla ku indha mari enna irukna benefits irukku right ah flexibility irukku adillama mla il neenga enter pannitinga na avlo strict and terms paaka vendiya so what is action plan number 1 what is number 2 i did mismatch arrangements number 3 rules number 4 <laughs> number 5 number 6 number 7 number 8 number 9 number 10 number 11 number 12 number 13 number 14 dispute resolution more effective number 15 mli right bring about an action plan number 6 preventing in abuse they have given one page oecd minimum standard 
given the risk to revenue posed by treaty shopping countries have committed to ensure a minimum level of protection against treaty shopping by including in their treaties hello moonu moonu recommendation la kuduthirukanga oic correct ah number 1 combined approach of what limitation of benefits lob plus ppt rule or or lob rule supplemented by mechanism that would deal with conduit financing arrangement not already dealt within the nnt in the conduit financial financing arrangements na puridile nedana shell company solli kudutaanga or conduit company solli kudutha avanga poi enna pannuvaanga oru finance konda push panniruvaanga avungala tackle pandra mari rules eduthuvaanga appo either enna pannunga na lob plus ppt rules or or lob ning replace panninga lob replace panninga lob rule supplemented by a mechanism that would deal with the nna financing not already dealt in the nna treaty muna tax treaty la indha mari vandha enna pannu nu solla le neenga ipo neenga vena pudhu clause eduthu vandirukke othukringa so lob clause in india mauritius tax treaty already discuss pannitu namma lob clause in india singapore tax treaty idhu dhaan undu indian tax law la enna pannadana treaty abuse eda sir counter pandrathukaga nam lob eduthu vandathu puridha action plan number 7 prevent the artificial avoidance of nna status number 1 review of definition of pe adha na oecd sollaru neenga vandu pe definition enna pannirenga to prevent nna avoidance by way of commissioner arrangements sir modification of article 55 to include a person who habitually plays a principal role leading to conclusion of contract in definition of what idinala da namu vandu edha maathanona agency pe eduthirundho enga enna 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 model conventions la model conventions la article number 5 adu neenga 5 5 sonna okay sonna nalu okay okay va by way of sir, fragmentation of n activity fragmentation of pirikirad correct ah introduction of anti fragmentation rule to prevent fragmentation of function which are otherwise a holy activity to avail the benefit of exemption othukrani idu da yaroda karuthu adik income tax act la enna pannirukanga na sir business connection or definition la maathitaanga business connection oda section 9 sub section 1 enna 1 class 1 the assessment year 19 to 20 ipdi aakitaanga business connection also includes any business activity carried out through a person who acting on behalf of another resident habitually concludes contract or habitually plays the principal role leading to conclusion of the what by the nrs then apdiye copy paste pannanga oecd enna sonnaangalo adu apdiye enna connection aakitaanga appo business connection include yaravadu or non resident ka india ku ulle irundhu contract la enter panni kudutha adu enna connection aagum and such contract should be in the name of nrs then for transfer of ownership or granting of right to use property owned by that nrs then or that the non resident has right to use or provision of services by that nrs resident non resident ipdi da ena sir india oda implementation debt section plan number 13 re examining avanga ena sonanga na master file local file cbc report kondu varu sonanga country by report idu edukku master file already discuss pannitom edukku local file discuss pannitom edu country by country report discuss pannitom correct ah local file idu rendume to be delivered by mni directly to yaarku ana idu vande parent entity file pannu already adala discuss panniya chaliya இன்கம் டாக்ஸ் ஆக்ட்ல எப்படி எடுத்துட்டாங்கன்னா 92 டி ஏயும் 286 யும் 92 டி அமன் பண்ணிட்டாங்க 286 ஐ எடுத்து வந்துட்டாங்க இல்லையா 90 ல என்ன சொல்றாங்கன்னா மெயின்டெனன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபர்னிஷிங் ஆஃப் NFI CBC ரிப்போர்ட்டிங் रिक्वायरमेंट அண்ட் रिलेटेड மேட்டர்ஸ் அப்ரிஷியேட் பண்ற நீ டெவலப்பிங் a மல்டிலேட்டரல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் சார் प्रिவென்ட் ட்ரீட் அபியூஸ் இம்ப்ரூவ் டிஸ்பியூட் ரெசல்யூஷன் प्रिவென்ட் தி ஆர்ட்டிஃபிஷியல் அவாய்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் என்ன ஸ்டேட்டஸ் நியூட்ரலைஸ் தி எஃபெக்ட் ஆஃப் ஹைபிரிட் மிஸ்மேட்ச் அரேஞ்ச்மென்ட் அப்ப MLA help fight against what அப்ப நம்ம பெப்சிக் அகைன்ஸ்ட் தி போராட போறோம் பை இம்ப்ளிமென்டிங் tax treaty related measure developed through what project in existing bilateral treaty in a synchronized and in a manner effective manner அப்ப ஆல்ரெடி எண்டர் பண்ணி வெச்சிருக்கிற treaty ய மாடிஃபை பண்றதுக்காக நம்ம இதில எண்டர் பண்ணுவோம் நம்ம நாலு விஷயம் அச்சீவ் பண்ணோம் நம்பர் 1 நம்பர் 2 இம்ப்ரூவ் டிஸ்பியூட் ரெசல்யூஷன் நம்பர் 3 நம்பர் 4 இத நாலு அச்சீவ் பண்றதுக்காக நம்ம MLA ல எண்டர் பண்ணோம் ஓகேவா MLA is a flexible instrument which modify tax treaty that are a covered tax ag- agreement is an agreement for the avoidance of that already in force between the parties to the are and for which both party have made a notification that they wish to modify the agreement using the entry into force of MLA MLA eppa varum hello sir nama once enter panna enna date la apply avum adha pathi nam pesala correct ah illaya we'll be be talking about that don't worry at all i'm reading once again the question every day i am reading this man to in a sir make you understand where we are standing what do you understand by base erosion already in definition solli kodutta and then shift 
Describe briefly its adverse effect. Either we discuss one or starting like introduction adverse effect of debts. I mean, first topic you are going to talk about. This will be discussing. <laughs> what are the significant OECD recommendations under any plan relating to which recommendation has been adopted in Indian tax? This is a separate chapter according to me called as. That is a recommendation adopted. Equalization levy. If you do 86 introduce for now, that is my that's a very next discussion immediately that is in a coming classes we'll be talking about discuss the provision incorporated in income tax act in line with oecd recommendation under action plan number four what is for thin capitalization for three recommendation we adopted 30 percent of ebitda okay describe the three tier structure for transfer pricing documentation mandated by debt section 130 Describe the three tier structure for documentation mandated by BEPS. Number one, master file. For this two section has been introduced in the Act, 92 DL 286. Explain the nexus approach recommended by OECD in BEPS Action Plan number five, which has adopted in Income Tax Act. Five is having two part actually. Yes, sir. Prevent, preventive and prevent, preferential tax and exchange of information. We have introduced one and five VBF. Concessional tax rate of ten percentage. Percent. What are the ways in which hybrid mismatch arrangements are used to achieve unintended double non-taxation or long-term tax deferral? Four ways. Four, four, four. Double, 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 double deduction without showing it as an income. Single borrower double deduction. Misuse of FTC. Enjoying in that NSR. Participating in. So. When you read the NSR answers now, you'll be able to appreciate or understand things in a very, very better way. E except the first one. The first one, what I am trying is, I will be completing the first one along with another chapter called as equalization levy. So this itself is more and more and more NSR enough. For example, I'm having a little 40 minutes, 30 minutes slot pending, which I have to read the introduction for you. Because these guys are asking some four mark, five mark area examination. You know, heart attack will come. Okay, because last time, you know, what is the question they have asked? What are the adverse effect of BEPS? BEPS on the other adverse effect. In the in the the issues, we face on the other BEPS on the other. What are the need for international collaboration to protect track sovereignty of its what country? In the what is the purpose? Is it because we are on the in the for the international collaboration? வா நீ நானும் சேர்ந்து படிக்கலாமா நீ நானும் சேர்ந்து டபுள் டாக்ஸேஷன் அவாய்ட் பண்ணலாமா அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி அதுக்கான காரணம் வாட் இஸ் த ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் வாட் பெப்ஸ் இந்த ரெண்டு டாபிக் திஸ் டாபிக் நம்பர் ஒன் அண்ட் டாபிக் நம்பர் டூ அஸ் வின் ஆஸ்கர் ஃபார் ஃபைவ் மார்க் டூ டைம்ஸ் ஆக்ஷன் பிளான் இல்லாமல் இதில் வெரி ரீசன்ட் லாஸ்ட் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் கொஸ்டின் வாஸ் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் திஸ் டூ டாபிக் இந்த ரெண்டு டாபிக்ல நம்ம கொஸ்டின் கேட்டோம்னா வாட் ஆர் த அட்வர்ஸ் எஃபெக்ட் ஆஃப் வாட் வெப்ஸோட அட்வர்ஸ் எஃபெக்ட் என்னென்ன வெப்ஸ் இஸ் குட் ஆர் பேட் Very bad, sir. Correct, sir. So, what are the adverse effects? Abhi varun bodhi, or adverse effect enna na unghi soldra, unghi puri erthi kaga. Country ki tax rao ni kamiya edu. Adhi nala public ka saru pannu mudi edu. Country yoda growth illa vayadu. Country yoda development stagnant edu. Economic development stagnant edu. Correct, sir. Idhi maari edu na enna edu adverse effect. So, that area, and we'll be talking some important topics of the MLI. What is relevant for examination part? Ojo grani? Yes. by that we can say that we are done with the debts because action plan number 1 i will be covering along with the equalization we so three topics can be completed by that i will be i'm planning to complete that very soon and i will be moving into the next slot of equalization we gar provision tax audit rules the tax audit rules because newly added chapter for your examination tax audit the topic which i have given 10 topics my dear lovable students only in this area will be taking a lot of time this three chapters because these three chapters are not usual chapters these are unusual chapters so here we have to spend the time other main topics can be completed like this and we can reach till the end are you all really with me a revision is a key to success if you want to pass in the coming attempt still 30 days are there If you are calculating, thinking that one month and a year, that is a total thing. One month and a year, that is all. That is a very big difference. Thought is the basic thing, my dear lovable students. So think positively. If you know, we have in the third chapter, our biggest one idea. Ayoda, third chapter, I have done. 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 I have done
இப்ப அசால்ட்டா நம்ம காலையில ஒரு ஒன் அண்ட் ஹாஃப் ஹவர் ஸ்பென்ட் பண்ணியே நம்மளால மூணு சாப்டர் இந்த ஐசியை வச்சு ரீட் பண்ணிருக்கோம் நம்ம இதுக்கு மேல என்ன இருக்கு சார் வாட் இஸ் தட் டு கேரி ஃபார் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஐ ஆல்ரெடி சார் ப்ராமிஸ் யூ தட் ஐ வில் கிவ் யூ a five page for every chapter yes sir that you have to carry for examination adha mattu padicha idu nyabagam irukadhu sir idha mattu padichum use irukadhu examination ku we be do we have to do both hello so my dear lovely students so if at least nam in the last one week idha padichadnal moonu chapter nammala complete panna mudinjichu moonu chapter nammala complete panna mudinjichuna when you see the sir ici study material for ca final direct tax let me show you to have the full confidence in you for example for direct tax abdin sorry ICA study material You are English or Hindi? when you go to that this are the module wise content they have given you just check as a ca final student module number 4 non resident taxation we have done double taxation brief we have done advanced ruling we have done tp we have done fundamentals of debts we have done application interpretation of tax treaty we have done or your modern tax convention we have done latest development in international taxation we have not done which is debts 2.0 enadhe debts <laughs> we are talking about webs 1.0 as of now that is webs 2.0 sir whatever they have given here has been copy pasted there saying that webs 2.0 i can prove you don't worry at all tax audit and ethical compliances this is a new topic my dear lovable students which has been added which is our next slot okay i'll be doing provision to counteract unethical tax practice that is for penalty yes sir adam penalty and prosecution lo padichalo ma wa apdiya sir okay right miscellaneous provision we have done dispute resolution we have done appeal and revision we have done assessment procedure we have done income tax accounting we have done tds tcs advance tax we have done for regular but not for crash i ask you to take the video and ask you to complete tax taxation of inner transaction that's what equalization theory is all about yes sir oh through that chapter only they are doing the equalization theory action plan number 1 so i'll be completing very in a sir soon tax planning tax avoidance tax evasion i have not done i will be doing for that it will be taking 30 to 45 minutes a four mark question will come mandatory question from that chapter every exam one question will come they will give so many activity and they will ask you to split whether it is a tax planning or tax evasion or tax avoidance we will do that don't worry about it is in my 10 chapter list trust we have done but exit tax we have not done trust liye or extended part ke exit tax assessment of various entities we have done will be doing the question in the coming slot i have included 50 questions super 50 in that all the adu mattum pota podum va mele 70 plus sure if you are doing that 50 question what i am giving and the mari eduthu vechirukka that's the next plan action plan are you all ready with me yes, deduction already done sir chapter 6 we have already done clubbing set of carry forward sir if you want you do if you want the video i can give that's it other person clubbing ifis we have done capital gain we have done pgp we have done so total income basic concepts what you are supposed to do is revise for 30 days write the mock test sir be in line with the exam change your preparation style from the sir study mode change to examination mode that's what last 30 days a good student should do don't study 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 take a mock go with ici write the mock then you know where you are standing what is your mistake do that immediately then start preparing yourself adillam padichite irukka adha paithe mari edhu illa pa that's what i am saying my dear lovable students sir this batch will be marked in the history of sir tax class 100% of the portion along with the what man questions amendment everything will be completing if you are following me this time exemption in direct and indirect taxes sure guaranteed just follow what i am saying so we'll be taking one more a small session later to say that bets has been 100% over and in that session itself we'll be stepping into the nlv equalization maybe maybe, maybe tomorrow so those who are in online enjoying the classes feeling it as useful share your happiness because that always gives a lot of energy to the teacher we'll meet you at the appropriate time till that thank you and bye bye friends.